Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, March 15th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. The older you get, the more you realize how important it is to never underestimate the importance of being surrounded by the comforts of home. So maybe that means now would be a good time for everyone to start paying attention to Australian bikini bombshell, Shanna Baker. With only a few days separating her from the biggest contest of her life, the second year pro looks like she's getting sharper by the day as she prepares for this weekend's Arnold Australia. For Baker, tackling this group of all-stars, making their way down to her backyard won't be an easy task by any means of the imagination. But if she can stand in there and weather the storm, I think a top six finish is something that's definitely within her reach. Normally when you hear someone say that you went Hollywood, they mean it as an insult. But when you look at what veteran big man Hollywood Glenn has been doing lately, being called Hollywood seems like the farthest thing from an insult I can think of. This week the longtime veteran dropped another awesome update where we see him putting the fruits of his labor on display for the world to see. At this point, I still don't know what show he's targeting, but I do know that wherever he lands, they're going to get the all-time best version of primetime Hollywood. With the level of detail that he's got now, this guy is going to be one tough act, and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if he managed to grind out an early win at some point over these next few weeks. After winning your first Fitness International title, you'd think that it would be cause for some major celebration. But when after that win, you have to hop right up onto the surgical table to patch up damage to your ACL and MCL, well, that has to rain on your parade just a little bit. Fresh off her post-victory surgery, it still looks to be all smiles for reigning Fitness International champ Whitney Jones. On Monday, Jones released a handful of post-surgery updates, along with her message to her fans where she promised to be back and better than ever at some point in the next calendar year. Conventional wisdom tells you that an ACL-MCL rehab is usually somewhere in the 9-12 to 12 month range. But when you've got all those super freak genetics like Whitney Jones, you really never know how fast she might end up bouncing back. Good luck and heal quickly. Even at this point in the season, it already feels like it's going to be a weird year in the figure division. But now that Louise Rogers is almost ready to throw her cards into the mix, this first part of the season is really about to get interesting. After announcing that she was officially starting her 2018 prep a few weeks ago, Rogers and her team have been trickling out a steady stream of updates as they slowly start to chip away at phase one of their latest program. From a conditioning standpoint, Rogers has consistently been one of the best athletes in the division over these last few seasons. So if she starts really tying together some of those loose ends, she's got the potential to make things interesting in the right lineup. And finally, we close out today's show with one final update from 212 veteran Walter Martin. Last week, Martin announced via Instagram that he had been diagnosed with cancer and was scheduled to have surgery to remove his left eye, only 24 days after wrapping up his current contest prep. The fact that Martin is still out there grinding out his contest prep in the face of this kind of adversity is a testament to the warrior spirit that this guy has coursing through his veins. So from all of us here at Muscle in the Morning, we'd like to send a shout out to Walter and let him know that we're all rooting and praying for him. Walter, heal quickly. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.